My name is Ratsuni and welcome back to Renown Explorers International Society, more to explore, and the Emperor's Challenge expansions. Uh, we're in the Emperor's Challenge mode currently. We are going to do the weekly challenge, which at the moment is Research Collector, Secondary Challenge, Discovery Spotter. Seems good. Seems like I can do both of those quite cohesively in the same build. So there are a bunch of achievements that are based around doing uh, unique challenges. So daily or weekly challenges, not repeating the same one, unique in that fashion. Uh, in order to get the favor of the emperor, right? Do five of them, do 10 of them, do 25, I think it is. Uh, so of course, from now on, unless of course I have to go back and do Fei and I will do that at some point as well. I'm going to be doing a lot of these, these things, the emperor's challenge challenges. So, Su Min Zhong leading enables me to upgrade my discovery token every single time I pick up a lobbyist, student, or a merchant. I'm definitely going to pick up a bunch of students, and I'm going to have to pick up those students because I've got Research Collector. Sounds like an idea. Behind that, I can also use her uh, in order to get extra status from my study tokens, and I'm going to want to pick up every single study token. Now, the thing is, if I'm thinking about a crew like this, I'm thinking, what places do I want to go to? First Island, obviously, we're going Celtic Code, so let's go. Second Island, almost invariably, uh, we are going to want to go to the location that is known as, and I am not stalling for time, the Caribbean Island. Third, either... We can go to the Andean Adventure, or we can go to the Highlands. Fourth, we want to go to Emerged Island. And then fifth, we want to go to Lost Island. Possibly not Lost Island, though, because Lost Island is really hard. Uh, and I don't really have a naturalist or an engineer in this build so far. And I'm not really going to get it. Su Min Zhong has archaeologist and diplomat. She is all about that culture. So when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking, okay, if she's the archaeologist uh, diplomat, and she does want to be the archaeologist diplomat, considering the fact that bureaucrat brawl is going to enable her to buff the study token by rolling archaeology and diplomacy. If she's going to be my archaeological diplomat, then my speaker is not going to be my diplomat. So I've got to think of a speaker who has something they can bring to the table that no one else really can right now. So I'm thinking, Beguila... Rogue? Maybe? If I want Beguila Rogue, I can go for Fei Lin. Fei Lin can pick up the Rogue through her campfire story. She can also pick up extra levels of Engineer, should they be needed. I can get two Discovery Tokens using her ability. Eh, this is not horrible. Definitely not horrible. But I don't need that much Rogue in my party, do I? I definitely need Beguila. Level 1 Beguiler is pretty good on the Caribbean island. Uh, but if I'm going to either the Andean Adventure or the Highlands, especially the Highlands, I want a Beguiler. So outside of that, I'm thinking I'm a friendly slash devious crew. I can't really do aggressive with this crew. Su Min Zhong isn't about that life. So if I'm thinking about that, maybe I'm thinking about taking someone like Maria. Maria is a big hitter. That said, if I'm taking Maria, I'm definitely going to just, like, mainline down one resolution, right? So it's either friendly or devious. Because, of course, I'll want to give bonuses to either my campaign or my encounter token. Probably not both. Another option that we have to the side of that is Yvonne Lefebvre, being a beguiler who can pick up the odd level of rogue, also being devious and friendly. The problem that I have with this is we don't really have any benefit of hers that will really come into play with the main challenge. I'm trying to look for some research. Outside of that, let's start thinking about our scout. Because our scout is mostly independent of everything we're thinking about at the top. I'm pretty certain I want Su Min Zhong as my leader. So... I mean, Hojo... Kind of friendly, not really that devious, unfortunately. Does pick up levels of athlete that we won't get elsewhere. We definitely want, if we can, someone who can become an athlete and a naturalist, or an athlete survivalist, or something like that, so that I can actually get benefit from the secondary I'm going to. Naturalist is actually 
really good in the Caribbean island. There's a lot that you really want from a naturalist in the Caribbean island that uh, typically I don't get to pick up. Obviously, Padrino is always there. Let's have a think about this, actually. If I went Padrino, what if I went, like, Hildegard? Right? It's like, Hildegard would be friendly and then just super supporting, right? So she'd be all about that defense and about healing up the rest of the team. So she's, uh, Su Min Zhong, that is. Um, I shouldn't say she. She is the uh, cow's mother, the sheep's mother. I can't remember. There's a phrase that specifically is about not using the word she referring to anyone. Refer to them in the first person. So Su Min Zhong is going to be a lot of our damage. Padrino is also quite high in his damages. Uh, and then Hildegard would sit at the back of the crew just healing everyone up. Someone to get bonuses on Beguiler, Quick Thinker, and Tactician Spins. Well, I mean, that would only ever be Pat uh, Padrino, who will be picking up the odd level of Beguiler. I guess that means that Hildegard, at the start, will be rolling my Diplomacy, but she loses that. I focus entirely on Naturalist on her, and then Su Min Zhong starts picking up Diplomacy. I don't have a huge problem with that, actually. Think about this for a moment. Su Min Zhong has Etiquette as her first pickup. I could easily just hit etiquette course and give Su Min Jong her first level, but then Hildegard gets her second level and Hildegard becomes a much better diplomat. So I am worried a little bit about that, but not severely enough to ignore that this could be a good run. I'm interested. Let's go. Classic Celtic Code. I might have to restart the first adventure if I don't get what I'd really like. What would I really like? Let's think about that. Will of the Wisp giving us the spooky lantern would be really good early. Amazing early in the game. So if we can get that, I'll be all about that life. <sighs> okay, we see a... Oh, okay, this has got to be Padrino becomes the quick thinker. That means I'm not going to get the Archaeologist Legends, unfortunately. Oh, they're starting to get their... Study on. We've got two. Okay, as long as I get two study from that space, I'm going to be good. So I'm going to go up and then back down. Hungry Wolves are following us. This is going to have to be an aggressive beatdown, but that's okay. I can do that. I can go off script... Uh, emotion spreader, and we want to terrify. So terrify, that one is banked. That's basically one banked terrify. So now if I terrify another target, I'll be fine. And I don't even have to keep them terrified, so they're terrified. I get emotion spreader, now I start hitting things so I can turn aggressive. We become hostile. We stay hostile for a turn. One more hit after this should be enough for us to resolve aggressive and get our extra token. Unfortunately, we didn't get Mr. and Mrs. Devious. That could be a problem. Mm. Weird Colorful Stone. Unfortunately, that's only one study. Yikes. A lot of things not working out greatly right now. Uh, we're not going to get Campaign Charm for like a really long time, actually. That's going to be unfortunate. I'm going to keep Eureka. So I actually have an idea in my head. For once. Uh, I'm keeping Eureka specifically because, especially if I'm activating Brazilian Blend early, Insight's going to be quite powerful for me. This Insight comes with an extra study. And especially if I'm going down Research, I can just research the Everlove and Hell out of uh, the... Hmm... I feel worse about this now. I was thinking, research the ever-loving hell out of the anthropology... It's not anthropology. The psychology tree. Get down to the point that I can start studying or using my insight for discovery tokens. 
get a ridiculous amount of discovery tokens, beat the hell out of this challenge. That'll also contribute to this challenge, right? That, that makes sense to me. I think I should do it. Uh, target Su Min Zhong. Because Su Min Zhong is our engineer, our engineer rather, our scientist. So she'll be doing better at studying when she's trading in. Um, yeah, no, I don't want, I don't want the negative energy in the crew. Our crew members liking one another is actually going to be more beneficial for me, I feel. As long as they don't now take this, we should be fine. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Please succeed. 61. Thank you. Okay, that'll get us the Collector of Study as well. So I get to take that before it can be taken from me. One of those rainy days. Hildegard, pick up your second level of Naturalist. Mr. and Mrs. Devious hasn't even started being taken by my opponent. But I should clear this space really, really quickly. So I'll go get Retriever of Treasure, Keeper of the Grove. Okay, we have to resolve this Devious anyway. The reason you resolve this Devious is because you get a specific treasure if you resolve Devious. So usually it looks like I'd want to do it friendly, but no, Devious is the way. Hmm. Mindbender. Thirty-three? Not enough. Alright, I'll get myself out of the negative mood. Turn myself provocative. Thirty-three is a little rough, but... I did have someone level up, and it's a cheer, so that's actually not even going to help me. Alright. See if we can get it right this time. 32? Still not good enough. No one has weaknesses except for a weakness to terrify, but the... The weakness to terrify is on the same person who has the impress. Makes it a lot less likely to ever trigger. Oh, never mind. 39 just off the bat there. Didn't think that was going to happen, but it did. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Never mind, it's fine. And devious. Wolf Druid is saddened beyond words and just wants to be left alone. He accidentally tells you about a treasure, and he throws the skull of San Plus one campaign and plus one study for each level of archaeologist in your crew at the end of each expedition. I mean, yeah, it's two study, two campaign. It's just never going to get more than that, though. Oh, well. Su Min Zhong... Uh, I want her to start picking up Diplomat, but... I, hmm. This is worth so much more right now, and I can get Diplomat Etiquette on her later. I don't feel great about that. Okay, come on. Give me a student. Student! Journalist! <laughs> Alright, Hidden Horde, give us the Discovery. Discovery Spotter, we get the first one. Su Min Jong loses speech defense. Yikes. Okay, and one Discovery token, don't mind if I do. Uh, you need to start diversifying. Beautiful smile and astonishing. Well. Shit. Kind of just have to anyway. Overgrown rock, mine, 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 we need to know. Lose speech power on Padrino. She becomes the collector of... No, I became the collector of study. Never mind. I can never really tell who it goes to. It's kind of difficult to see it at a glance. It seems like it's being claimed by them, but then the point tallies up for me. 
Okay, Devious, beautiful. Uh, Mr. Efficient, sorry, The Efficient, rather. Get an AoE ability to hit three people at the same time. Yeah, I can't do that. At least I definitely can't do it right now. Yeah, no, party time. Hmm. Party time, I think, doesn't hit friendlies at all. Yeah. So that would only be two in the area of effect there. I do desperately want this, though. Okay, so I'm going to do that double heal. And if you move back, I think they'll all surround Su Min Zhong. Which they do. As long as they don't take her out, we're fine. And they don't. Beautiful. You move there. I can party time. It does a hell of a lot. And I don't want, obviously, Su Min Zhong to go down, so I'll use Cheer to keep her alive. Then... Devious... And I think if we both just heal Su Min Zhong here, we'll get another turn in the Devious stance, which will guarantee that I resolve this overall Devious. Beautiful! Which means that I get the token as well as Mr. Devious. Come on. Milking every point out of that run. Some rumbling in the bushes. And we track down the white stag. Beautiful. Loses attack power. Okay. Onwards and upwards, druidic disputes. Amir Akhtar, yes! We get to resolve this Devious and get, uh, I think it's plus one speech defense on all our characters. Mood Switcher. Okay. Uh, the easiest thing for me to do is going to be go friendly, Devious, friendly, Devious, friendly, Devious. So you can go in friendly, Devious, friendly, Devious, friendly, Devious. Friendly. Go up here. Devious. Please resolve that one, Devious. Uh, yikes. Oh, cool. That Never mind. That did resolve that, Devious. Holy cramoly. Okay. You buff her. Uh... You hit him. I'll hit you friendly as well. Beautiful. And now as soon as I go back to Devious for the kill, I'll... Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ho, don't do it! Beautiful. So that's Devious. And then this should turn us back to Devious and grant Mood Switcher as well as the Devious Resolution. Beautiful! <laughs> okay, we did get lucky that we didn't get hit in a couple of those scenarios. Like, we definitely should have. Uh, see Sapphire 100% of the time, I believe, here. It could be the Baronix Claw rather than see Sapphire, considering the Baronix Claw is for devious resolutions. But I think the see Sapphire is still going to be more important. Just going to make absolutely certain I'm 100% correct about that, because I'd hate to be wrong. I'm wrong often enough on my own. I don't want to be wrong while I have the information at hand ability to check there. Uh, plus one study for each level of archaeologist, naturalist, engineer. It's okay. And then the Stegosaurus skull is the other one that we can't get. Where are we? Baronix Claw. 
Plus two study when you resolve devious. But I resolve friendly and devious, so I guess amazing contributions. All right, come on. We got the sea sapphire, good. Plus one for each level of archaeologist. Thank you, that's the one that I have the most of. Three. So at the end of this... And, and yeah, we'll get collector of study as well. Beautiful. Man, we got everything there. We wiped the board. So we've got the Skull of Sandanos, and we've got the Sea Sapphire. We've got three study from that, and then three study from the Skull of Sandanos, as well as three campaigns. That's, that's pretty good. And the thing is, both of those are tied to levels of... Uh, whatchamacallits? Levels of Archaeologist. So getting extra levels of Archaeology on Su Min Zhong is actually kind of ridiculous. You have no idea how much I just want to study that entire tree right now. But based on what I want to do in general, I'm going to want to go bam, 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 bam. Bam. Not finish the psychology tree. I just want to get Asian wisdom after my second adventure. Then spend all of my insight on discovery tokens and then buy the entire natural sciences tree. Then obviously I'll buy that because uh, food sciences is going to give me the bonus. Legends or architecture? You can pick up arch architecture is a thing you learn later. Dang. There's... It's very unlikely that I managed to get all the way to Shadow Master. I am most often going to be resolving friendly. See, I think I should upgrade, take Hana Haas, and then take Friendly. Uh, sorry, a student. That will be all of my status, though. I think that's worth it. All right. Upcoming area. I have no levels of Engineer. I am going to need at least one level of Engineer. There's not that much... Uh... Mm. Okay, you take a level of engineering and you take a level of athlete. There's not that much in way of... What's the word I'm trying to say right now? God damn it, Ryan's brain. Please fucking figure your shit out. There's not that much by way... Nope, brain doesn't work. Brain is 0% working right now. Diplomacy challenges in Caribbean Island. That's what I meant to say. I am going to have to spend one here at the Berlin University. But that's just because I was already at my limit. All right. They're going to complete the first one of that if I don't spend another, actually. That's fucking rough. Eh, yeah, well done. If I didn't collect that right there, Amir would have collected that before I left this area. Like, Revlo plans to make two steps of progress before I leave, so if I don't give someone attack power right now... Who has the attack power, actually? Okay. I could spend a little bit of money just to get this. No, I might need that, need that money later. And one, one point is not too much. Simply, I'd just buy a uh, set of, like, a decent glove and put it on someone. And that would immediately take this. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Renown Explorers. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.